Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Star Flames. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell and join the family. In this video guys, we're gonna talk about Ryan Garcia getting arrested for felony vandalism. I don't know what's going on with this, with these celebrities. It's not just Ryan Garcia. We know that Ryan Garcia, he has been in the media for the past couple of months. And he is the guy, in case you guys don't remember, that told the world that Bohemian Grove is real. It is really real. And they brought him there to basically take disadvantage of minors, cruel disadvantage, something similar to what Justin Bieber told us about a couple of years ago when Justin Bieber said he witnessed what he witnessed on that school bus. Ryan Garcia is basically telling us that, yes, it's true, but this time around, they took me to Bohemian Grove and they forced me to watch these things being carried out. And not only that, they wanted me to participate in it. If you've seen Sloan Bella's Bella's video on sodomy ritual, that is a huge thing. They basically perform sodomy ritual on the innocent. What it does, it, they basically, you know, gain access to your energy through the crown chakra and they manipulate your energy. You remember that the Bible tells us that we do not war against flesh and blood, but principalities of wickedness in high places. So that's what they're telling us no the secret is out and we don't know everything at this point but we do have some information you know being shared with us the bible tells us about these things and we are learning about it as the days goes by we also know that hollywood is going down a lot of celebrities are getting exposed but you know luckily for ryan garcia He's not getting exposed for any of those things so far. It is said that he's been arrested for felony vandalism. He was led away in cuffs. No, um, they're saying that Garcia attorney Darren Chavez tells us Ryan was taken by the Beverly Hills Police Department to a local hospital for evaluation and treatment and to our knowledge may be charged with public to intoxication. Ryan Garcia was arrested for felony vandalism at the Waldorf Astoria in Beverly Hills Saturday afternoon, and TMZ Sports has video of the superstar boxer being led away by cops in and cuffs. Law enforcement source tells us the boxer was arrested and taken into custody after he allegedly damaged property at the hotel, including his room and the hallway. In California, any damage over $400 can be considered a felony. We obtained video showing Beverly Hills police walking Garcia out of the Waldorf and to a squad car. While you can't see Garcia's face, it's covered by a helmet. Ryan's large back tattoo are visible. The 25-1 fighter who were, who we're told was seemingly under the influence of alcohol and or drugs complied with authorities and went peacefully. Eyewitnesses tells us that they saw nearly a dozen cop cars outside the hotel, presumably responding to the incident. It's not the first time Garcia had an alleged incident at the High Price Hotel. On Wednesday, police responded to the Waldorf for a welfare check after one of Ryan's family members feared he might need assistance. Our sources tells us um, Ryan Garcia seemed okay and the cops left. Later in the night, we're told Garcia acted out and the hotel cut him off from drinking. Ryan was photographed walking with his brother the following day and nothing appeared out of the ordinary. Maybe his brother keeps him calm. Of course, Ryan beat Devin Haney, Haney earlier this year in what many deemed as a big upset after the fight, it was revealed that Garcia tested positive for a banned substance. He has been adamant that he didn't intentionally ingest anything that wasn't allowed. Now, guys, we're going to leave that at that because I believe that for the past couple of months, we have been seeing Ryan Garcia going through the highs and the lows, you know, and so many people have been saying, why not remove this guy from boxing because many people are saying clearly there's something going on with the guy and you know boxing can definitely cause permanent 
brain damage. It can. And what happens and what has been going on? And it's not just today. It has been ever since in these federation, especially, you know, the boxing federation, you know, the boxer, if he can make whoever he signed to good money, no matter how, um, you know, no matter how injured he is from a past fight, and even though it can cause him consistent, permanent brain damage, once the company is making good money, they will get their people or the doctor to say he's fit, you know, to go into that ring. It is something that they have been doing for years. It's not just today. It is not just Ryan Garcia. And as such, this is why so many people have been saying that it is time that Ryan Garcia retires from boxing because they believe that he's definitely suffering negative side effects from being in boxing match. But many people also equally believe that, you know, he was fragmented when they took him to Bohemian Grove. Some people say that those experiences are very traumatic. And as such, this is why Ryan has been having troubles this minute. It's alleged that he's, you know, unwell mentally. The next minute they say he's on drug. Next minute they had to take away his phone. So who really knows what's going on with, with this guy? We don't know. But there's one thing that's evident and that is I don't know why the heck these things happen in Hollywood to these celebrities. And it's as though they're constantly put on public display. Like every time we see someone, we see Britney Spears, we see who else? Amanda Bynes, Ryan Garcia. They're fragmented here too. And we can see that. Doesn't make sense. We even stay quiet about it. They keep experimenting on these people. And it's just sickening. It's really disgusting. But that's all I have to share in this video with you guys. Let me know what are your thoughts. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. See you guys later. Bye, guys.